So the basic theory of Tantra is that for the benefit of the world, Buddhas will manifest, will come to the earth, that they have come in the past and they will continue to come in the future uh, to benefit humankind, actually to, to benefit all beings, not only human beings. And moreover, that these deities can actually be made or invited to come. They can't be made to do anything, but you can invite them to come. And one of the ways that they are invited to come is through ritual means, through the creation of a home for them. And what you see here, the mandala, is in fact a kind of home <coughs> of the deity, in this case, the deity of Lokiteshvara, the Buddha of compassion. Now, in this ritual, uh, the, the doorway, how, how many people have seen Stargate? The television series Stargate. Oh, you guys are not television watchers. <laughs> so in Stargate, there's this opening that kind of looks like water that you go through. And that takes you into another world. Um, I think it's a wormhole or something. In any case, the doorway to the meditation in Tantra is a meditation on emptiness or reality, the nature of the, the world the way it is. So beginning with that meditation on emptiness, the monks first visualize that our ordinary universe dissolves and in its place they create a kind of idealized highly symbolic universe of the deity. In this case, the deity uh, Avalokiteshvara, the Buddha of compassion. So meditating on emptiness then, they visualize that the ordinary universe dissolves and in its place they begin to create an alternative universe. They go through the wormhole, um, which is emptiness, the gateway into this new world, this idealized perfect world, which is known as the world of the deity. And this is what the mandala represents. So at the center of, the, of this idealized world, you see that around the, the, the outside part, there are all of these different colors that represents the kind of outer periphery of this idealized world. And then at the center of this is the home of the deity, which is known as the palace. And at the center of the palace, there are four, uh, there are actually five deities that represent the deities of the Buddhas of the five families. Sometimes in popular literature, these are, these are known as the five Dhyana, Dhyani Buddhas. And at the center of this is the Buddha Amitabha, the Buddha of long life, which is the, the, the Buddha that is most associated with the deity Avalokiteshvara. So as they build this palace grain by grain, what they're doing is creating the home for the deity. In this case, actually five deities, but the principal one is the deity Avalokiteshvara. Once it's complete, completed then, then through ritual means, through visualization, the deities are the real deities, are invited to come from their celestial homes and to inhabit this physical place. So even though this exists in two dimensions, um, the actual mandala is really a three-dimensional world. So what you're seeing when you look at the mandala is kind of an architectural drawing, a kind of view from above of the palace of the deity. So if, if you get a chance to look at it, you'll see that there are four doors uh, with canopies that allow one to enter into the center, and then at the center of this is uh, the, the Buddha, the deity of compassion. So once they, they come, then certain other ritual practices are done, such as offering and so forth. And then after all of those rituals are completed, the monk, the, 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 the ritual practitioner has to go back home so that they can do another Stargate episode. They do this by going back again through the doorway of emptiness or reality. And in order to do this, they have to first collapse the mandala. So this is done through ritual means where 
they, what they recite, what the monks will be reciting before uh, they collapse the mandala is words to the effect of that the outer periphery of the world is being collapsed into the palace and the palace is being collapsed into the four peripheral deities and those four deities melt into the deity at the center and that deity at the center melts into a syllable that's located at his heart and that syllable melts into emptiness which is this doorway back into reality so that's what you're going to hear the monks do